my name is Devind. I am a teacher to English at Delhi Public World School Kotpukli, Rajasthan. And today I am here to discuss with you all about one of the topics of grammar which is this, tenses, which is one of the most important topics without which we can't even imagine speaking or, or writing correctly. Right? So let's discuss about tenses today. Before we go into this, with this topic, the question arises in, a, in our mind always, right? That what tenses are. In grammar, we, the tenses are something that express the time, and a, the time and action done. Okay? In tenses, the, in, in grammar especially, in grammar, tenses express the time and action done. Means the time is related to action. If you talk about in grammar, about tenses, it, it actually, it, it, uh, both are interrelated. Both are interrelated. You cannot just go without the time and action. So anything, any action which is, which has already happened in the, in the past, the action which is happening right now and which will happen in the future as well. So we are here to discuss about these things, the time and action. What time, what action has been done, what action is being taking, is being taking place or which is, which is taking place at the moment and the actions which will happen in the future. So, generally we all know that there are basically three kinds of tenses, right? Which are, which are, those three are, right, you know? Yes. Generally we have, present, past, and future. So, generally, in general, we all know about this, that generally we have three types of tenses, right? So, but today we will go deep into it, we will learn more of it. Let's talk about present tense. In present tense, we have four different subparts as well. We have, we have more, four subparts. What are they? Let's see. We have simple, present, we can also call it present indefinite. Either you call it present indefinite or simple present, both are the same. Right? Now see, we have present continuous after this. Then we have present perfect. And then comes Present perfect continuous. Same goes with past and future as well. In past we have simple simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Don't call it continuous. It is continuous. How should you pronounce it? Continuous. Okay. Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous. Got it, children? Sorry, yeah, of course, I am actually expressing my views to my children and everybody who is listening, listening out there, who is there in the video, but, um, of course, out there, sitting out there, my, my, my relatives, my friends, everybody who is watching me out there. So for them, I am going to discuss this and I am going to make it very clear to you so that you, whenever you come across these sort of questions, you will be able to answer, you will be able to judge and understand what exactly the, the line says. The moment you see the line, automatically you get to know what tense is of. Right? Now see, present tense. Let's discuss about the first topic of present tense that is simple present. Simple present. We have a certain formula for this. In fact, we have, we have formulas for each and every topic of tenses. Fine? So, simple present is there. Now we have the topic or we have the formula for this. That is subject V1 S or ES plus object. S stands for the subject. V1 means the first form of verb. S and ES depending upon the kind of subject we have. If the subject is third person singular, I need to make you understand one thing, what third person singular is. Third person singular. 
Under this category, we have, I mean, under this, we have he, she, it, or any singular noun. Any singular noun. Whenever you see any of these subjects, he, she, it, or any name, or any singular thing, singular noun, that is, I mean, you have to, whenever you see over here, at the place of subject, at the place of subject, if you find any of these words, you have to make, you have to use S or ES over there. You need to add S or ES over there. It's a verb, right? So, plus object. Now, subject plus V1, S, ES plus object. Got it? S stands for subject. V1 means first form of verb. S or ES, depending upon the kind of subject we are using. And then, we will add with the verb S or ES. And plus object. Clear? Now, see the examples. Let's start off with I. I play chess. I play chess. Over here, have I used S or ES anywhere? No. Why? Because here I is not the third person singular. Here I is the first person. Got it? That's why we have not used S or ES over here. So, the sentences we write like this. I play chess. We cannot write I plays chess. That will go wrong. So, now, see another sentence. He plays chess. He plays chess. Okay? Now, in general, where do we use these sentences? In general, if you talk about these sentences, where do we use them in general? Generally, we use them in a regular habit. Something which is happening regularly. Something which is happening regularly. For example, uh, you go to school regularly, every day. It's a kind of duty that you do, that you follow every day. There's, there's certain duties that you follow. There's certain habit which you do every day or something. Then something which which is which happens uh, in like what do you call it? Uh, the natural phenomena. The natural phenomena. Okay, worldly habit. There are like, for example, the universal truth. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. The sun sets in the west. Got it? The earth revolves around the sun. So these are the certain universal truth we that come that, that come under simple present tense. Okay? So here we talk about these things. Now see, he plays chess. Now we have uh, let's see with other subjects as well. You go to school daily. She runs on the terrace. So we need to keep in mind when we talk about simple present, make, make it sure that you write the sentences according to the formula. The subject has to be kept, kept in mind. V1 will always be there. Always remember this, that there has to be V1. And S and ES depending on the kind of words you're using. Now, there are some words where you need to use, where you, where you use ES and S depending upon the kind of words actually. If it is watch, like W-A-T sketch, watch. That will be watches. He watches cricket. He watches cricket every day. Likewise. Okay? Now let's move forward with the next topic. That is present continuous. Present continuous. Okay, so in present continuous we have a formula like this, subject is an or plus v, v4 which is an ing form, which is an ing form plus object. Right, now see the v4, v4, what is this v4, the, first, the fourth form of verb. See, V1, V2, V3, V4, 
v5 the first form of verb second form of verb third form of verb fourth form of verb and fifth form of verb so v1 so this is go v1 means the past form as past v2 is the past form of verb as well so go becomes went here then here v3 will become gone here v4 becomes going and then goes fifth one is goes so we don't generally talk about v5 so we generally talk about till here v1 v2 v3 up to class when I mean, in general if you talk about uh, till class 10 or i mean for juniors for the juniors go went gone going goes so going is the v4 v4 formula so in the formula we have v4 that is an ing form always remember this it will be an ing form so let's take an example i am what is am r is is am r these are the auxiliaries what are these these are auxiliaries or you can you know, also call it the helping verbs we also call them helping verbs these are not the main verbs main verbs are play run dance sing so i am running short of money i'm running short of money what does it mean it means that i have less of money and i won't be able to go any more any further without a single penny so i need money right so i am running short of money what is this why do we use am here with i because i is the first person where do we use is 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 used with third person singular only he she it or any other singular noun over here see third person singular so she is watching all of us she is she is watching all of us okay so is this is why she is a third person singular that's why we are using is here and ing has to be added there to make it a continuous form what does it mean continuous means which is still which is going on let us understand what continuous means present continuous means something which is going on at the moment at the moment while while you are speaking while you are doing something at the same point of time you are talking as well for example i am teaching somebody i am teaching at, at the moment you people so i am while speaking i am doing this right i am speaking i am teaching at the same point of time i am speaking as well so while speaking you are doing the action is the continuous form while speaking you are doing an action is the continuous form for example some more examples i am jumping so while jumping you will say i am jumping while uh, playing i am playing so while you, you if, your, if your parents will ask you if anybody is asking you what are you doing beta so i am playing that right now i am playing over here right so you are playing at the, at the same point of time you are speaking as well you are saying you to your dad you are replying to your dad that you are playing so she is watching all of us you are asking for help you are asking for help you are asking for help so you we will, we will use our what are, what are these i have told you that these are the helping verbs you are is used with you with plural verbs the plural so with the plural subjects like we you they or any plural subjects okay with all the plural nouns we use and we you they we use are so they are loving the match they are loving the match that they are watching at the moment they are loving the match they are watching at the moment so anything which is happening right now while speaking is the continuous form present continuous i hope you are getting me so since we are in short time i would like to continue this forward with in the next video if possible so thanks thank you for watching my video and i hope you will like comment and subscribe my video thanks so much for this have a great day ahead